everybody. Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, trying to help you make it through the work week. That's right, it's time for Good Stuff Mondays. There's always something to help get you through those stressful times, to put a little bit of a smile on your face, or to at least help you tune out the rest of the nonsense. Some of the best thing for that has been coming back into vogue over the past several years, and that is, as they call it, adult coloring. Now, coloring is for everybody. Adults, kids, I know a lot of folks who have always kept a pack of crayons and just when they feel like it, they just color, makes them feel better. But now there are items specifically targeted towards the grown-ups. You're not coloring just, you know, the big Mickey Mouse thing. You're coloring some really cool designs. Now, I thought I had more of my books here with me, but I keep a couple at work too. This is one that I picked up at the dollar store. Yes, one single dollar. It's a pretty cool little book. It says adult cats and dogs coloring, but you know what? I could see a tween or a teen having fun with this too because they're just neat patterns. Let's come a little, little bit closer. You could do so many things with colored pencils in, in images like this. Make your own fun out of it. Just take out your frustrations. I mean, what about that? A lot of fun. I have another one that I use at work that is just mandalas. And you know, with mandalas, there are no rules. You wanna sit there and color with your kids, rainy day activity. Keeping them off the video games, sit there and have a color in session with the parental unit or with the auntie unit. I would just be an auntie unit. But you can sit down and color. You know what, the kids can color in these too. They don't have to be just for grownups. You don't have to stay in the lines. There are no rules when you're coloring. All you need is a book or just a piece of paper, more about that in a minute, and either some crayons or some colored pencils or some markers or whatever it is that you like to color with. I don't recommend the poking the hole in the finger and coloring in your blood because that's all one color and it kind of gets boring after a while and with enough of it, you'll faint. Just saying. But as far as just needing a piece of paper, there's a great uh, company called Color It that puts out awesome books. I don't have any of them yet, but they do. But I do follow them on Facebook. Link will be below because they also have a link on their Facebook page to download 10 of their images, absolutely free. You can print them out and you can color those to your heart's content. Coloring stuff is everywhere now. You even see it at the checkout at the grocery store. They have books there for you to color. But find a cheaper version if you want, or if you want it to be your splurge, go to an art store because they have them there too and they're a whole lot more expensive. Also with these coloring pages, experiment. Try out color combinations that you never thought you might like. You might find something else to fall in love with. Always a passion for everything out there. Keep your stress level down, make your smile stay up, and make it through the work week. That's Good Stuff Mondays. Please check out more of my videos here, subscribe down here, and uh, come back and see me next time. See ya.